What is up Broncos fans, the Denver Broncos show back here again to do another video. It's been a, a while since I, I've done a video, about a month. I think my last video I, I previewed uh, the Super Bowl before the Broncos took on the Panthers, of course, in Super Bowl 50. Um, and a lot has happened since then. Obviously, we won the Super Bowl, um, which was, you know, incredible and, and still is, is surreal even like a month later. Um, and then obviously, you know, today uh, some big news is happening regarding the Broncos. We got uh, Peyton Manning officially retiring. So that's obviously a decision that has a, a lot of uh, ramifications throughout our franchise. Um, so, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of things going on right now with the Broncos, um, and, and a lot's happened since the Super Bowl. I'm uh, just going to talk about a, a number of different things in this video, again, starting with the Broncos winning Super Bowl 50. Now, I know the game happened over a month ago, so I'm not going to sit here and, and, and recap the Super Bowl. I'm sure a lot of people are over it by now. Uh, but since I, I didn't make a, a game recap after the game, again, it's, it's been like over a month since I made a video and, and now over a month since we won the Super Bowl, uh, I just want to give my thoughts on it. I mean, it, to, for me, it's, it's still so surreal um, as someone that has been doing these videos now for like six, seven years here on YouTube and, you know, re remembering the days of the Broncos being 4-12 and 12 with Tim Tebow and Kyle Orton as our, our quarterback and, and to see us go from that to, you know, six, seven years later now here as, you know, Super Bowl champions and, and you know, going to be the defending world champions going into the next season. Uh, it's incredible. And even, you know, th this is hard to fathom uh, after, you know, what happened two years ago against Seattle in Super Bowl 48 when we, we lost 43-8 to eight in the Super Bowl, lose by 35 points, uh, just kind of that debacle and disaster there in that game to come from that to now be here. Uh, again, it's just so surreal. And, and you got to give Pat Bowen, obviously, a ton of credit. The man is one of the best owners in the NFL is, is always given uh, the resources to his staff uh, to get the best players. You know, financially has is, is always been a guy that's not afraid to spend money um, and a guy that truly, you know, always wants to win and, and bring world championships to, to the city of Denver and loves the city and the city loves him. So you got to, you got to first, you know, uh, congratulate and thank Pat Bowen. And then, and then John Elway, man. I mean, ever since he took over, I think back in 2011, 2012, I mean, our franchise has just been on the, the up and up. Um, and, and for him to finally get, you know, this ring as an exec executive, be part of, uh, you know, all three uh, cha uh, Super Bowl championships now for this franchise. You know, two, of course, as, as a, a player, and now one as a president of, of the football operations. Um, you, you just got to give John Elway a ton of credit. He, he single-handedly rebuilt this team, made great move after great move, whether it be uh, in free agency and then, you know, in, in the latter years and even his first draft, drafting Von Miller in the draft. Um, I mean, it's, it's just totally revamped this organization and put us back on top. Um, so you got to thank him. And, and then lastly, I mean, the Broncos, what can you really say about, about this team? We were resilient all year. We overcame a lot of uh, stuff, not only, uh, you know, distractions in the media, but injuries. Um, and, you know, we, we won on, on the backs of our defense, man. And, and, and that's really, if, if you go back, I know I keep saying it, but if you go back and you watch my preview for the AFC, I said that if the Broncos had any chance of winning a Super Bowl, it was going to have to be on the backs of this defense. Um, and this is an all-time great defense. Without question, at least in my opinion, the best defense in, in the, the franchise's history. Um, and what they did in the Super Bowl, I mean, Von Miller, you know, obviously was Super Bowl MVP. Uh, the, the, I mean, to, to, to see what he did on that that stage against a guy like Cam Newton and a team like you know the Panthers that were just clicking and dominating everyone um, to see him kind of dominate and take over the game like he did you know forcing that fumble uh, early on in the game which led to a touchdown for us I think Malik Jackson recovered the ball um, and just co constantly pressuring Cam and, and I mean he was so dominant throughout the whole playoffs I mean Von Miller uh, obviously you know what what a pick back in 2012 I remember making uh, a video about Von Miller when we drafted him and again to, to kind of think back to making that video and now to see you know him where he's at as you know Super Bowl 50 MVP uh, it's just incredible and, and again not much to really say about the game kind of just thanking you know all the the, the, the guys in the Broncos organization here uh, but I mean the game itself again it was it was you know what we saw all year our defense dominated and we won because of that and to see to, to see them fluster Cam Newton the way they did um, and, and shut down the Panthers rushing game as well the way they did and just physically manhandle that offense was a sight to see and, and just a, a statement 
by a, a all-time great defense and, and kind of putting the bow on their legacy, so to say, with the Super Bowl championship. So to be Super Bowl 50 champs, defending champs, get our third Lombardi trophy, it's just, to me, it's still so surreal even a month later. Moving on to, to Peyton Manning, who's obviously retiring today. Uh, uh, Peyton Manning going to retire after 18 NFL seasons. But honestly, I, I, I felt kind of, personally, I feel more relieved, so to say, that Peyton Manning has finally made this decision rather than like in a celebratory, like grateful mood towards him. Because again, he's done a lot of great things. And, and I mean, you can, you know, go back to when, you know, uh, his, his first season with the Broncos, that Monday night football game in week two uh, against Atlanta where we, where we lost, he threw two picks. And, you know, there was a lot of questions around him. And then, you know, we, we went on to, to win 11 straight that season. Then he comes back next season. We get to the Super Bowl. He, you know, throws 55 touchdown, wins MVP, um, you know, but then we lose the Super Bowl. And then now to get to this point where he's, he's not nearly as effective, but we win a Super Bowl with him as our quarterback and he can ride out with his second ring behind our defense. I mean, it's been a hell of a roller coaster ride, but – Personally, I felt Peyton Manning really kind of prolonged this de this decision, and I'm just glad and and kind of relieved again that he made the decision so we're not kind of held hostage as a franchise and we can move on and focus now on re-signing Brock Osweiler um, and, and kind of move on with him as you know our quarterback of the future. So, um, again, thank you to Peyton Manning. Uh, there's so many memories. Again, the 55 touchdown season, um, you, know, you know, there's been so many highs and lows with Super Bowl 48 loss, Super Bowl 50 win. Um, and again, I, I will be forever grateful uh, to Peyton Manning for, for everything he accomplished uh, here and, uh, and everything he did for the Denver Broncos. And, and the Mile High City definitely salutes uh, number 18. It was a hell of a career, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. What a way for him to cap it off with, with a Super Bowl title and, and get that kind of elusive second ring for him and, and really kind of solidify his legacy. So thank you to Peyton Manning. Um, and again, as a, as a Broncos fan, I'm really relieved for our franchise that we now can move forward again and, and really trying to, to push hard to re-sign Brock Osweiler. Weiler. Things kind of shift towards next season again. We're looking to go to Super Bowl 51. We're looking to to go back to back. Free agency gears up today. Obviously, a lot of big things for the Broncos. Uh, you know, first and foremost, got to resign Brock Osweiler. Apparently, we offered him a three-year uh, deal worth more than $45 million, I believe, according to uh, Mike Kliss of Nine News here in Denver. Uh, so we'll see if Brock takes that. I think that's a pretty great deal. If I'm the Broncos, I, I really don't know how much more you can really uh, realistically offer Brock. I mean, $15, $16 million per season, I think is pretty fair for him. Um, and I really hope he makes the right decision and, and, and re-signs with us. If he wants the best chance to, to not only make a, a pretty good salary, again, $15, $16 million a year, but also um, you know compete for a Super Bowl, we're, we're the team that gives him that best chance um, but the guy that I'm, I'm a little more worried about um, and, and, and you know that I want to hear more about what's going to happen with the free agency is Malik Jackson he's such a, a pivotal uh, part of our defense especially our defensive front and, and is, is such a presence in terms of his interior uh, pass rushing ability um, and is a guy that right now it's, it's not looking great that he's going to be back um, but you know we, we've offered him apparently 11 million dollars per year he's seeking 14 million so hopefully some way we can you know kind of meet in the middle with him because uh, Malik Jackson getting him back is, is pivotal uh, for us but I'm really looking forward to seeing what the Broncos do in free agency maybe if they target some guys uh, again see where you know if, if Brock and Malik go where they resign where Danny Trevathan and Brandon Marshall end up CJ Anderson and Ronnie Hillman uh, we got a lot of guys that are free agents so should be a, a fun free agency uh, period give me a comment below guys always love hearing from you thank you for watching Watching as always, and again, go Broncos. Really looking forward to see what we do in free agency uh, and, and then going into the draft period and, and seeing who we select there. Uh, I'll definitely be putting out a video uh, probably later this week as uh, news comes out regarding free agents with the Broncos, them re signing guys uh, or just signing other free agents from other teams. So, again, take care, guys. Peace out.